This visit is the first visit by a president of the Federal Republic of Germany to Kenya since independence. And I believe it illustrates a desire by our two countries to scale up the scope of our development, cooperation across a multitude of sectors. I believe our respective delegations are going to work to create new partnerships that will generate solutions to challenges that we both face. And these include youth employment, the humanitarian crisis in Europe and Africa, security and terror threats, as well as the important subject of climate change. The backbone of our sustainable employment for the youth has to be anchored also in quality education in both competency and skill-based training. Indeed, during the President's visit, we will lay together the foundation stone of the Kenya-German Tivit Institute in initiative at the Kambu Institute of Science and Technology, which is one of over 100 such Tivit institutions in our country. Indeed, Kenya has achieved a 100% transition from primary to secondary level education, and we are grateful to our international partners, and Germany in particular, for their support in this endeavor. I also note with appreciation that the government of the Federal Republic of Germany has offered to support new programs through the Kenyan German initiative to promote youth employment. And they have offered to share experiences and resources to help us transform the manufacturing and agricultural sectors, as well as the blue economy through technical and vocational education training. And subsequently, under this initiative, three centers of excellence have been established. Germany will co-finance with Kenya a phase one at a total cost of 26.4 million euros, while phase two will be co-financed to establish a further four other TIVIT centers at a total of 13 million euros. We also note that the relevant uh, agreements and MOUs have been signed between our two countries, including financial and technical agreements, increased employment and industrial competence in Kenya, as envisioned by the strengthening of the education sector, calls for an increased investment in trade, manufacturing, and agriculture. Indeed, as I said earlier, they have over 100 German companies here in Kenya and we believe that there exists still more scope for a deepening of our partnership. Herr Präsident, wir haben auch, Sie haben auf die wirtschaftlichen Verbindungen zwischen unseren beiden Ländern hingewiesen. In der Tat, Kenia ist der wichtigste Wirtschaftspartner Deutschlands hier im ostafrikanischen Raum und mit einem derzeitigen Projektportfolio von ca. 500 Millionen Euro auch Schwerpunktpartnerland der deutschen entwicklungspolitischen Zusammenarbeit. Mr. President, you pointed out in your introductory statement that the economic ties between both our countries are well developed, and you hinted at the importance of those ties. Indeed, uh, Kenya is the most important economic partner country of Germany in the east of Africa, and we have a project portfolio of 500 million euros, which makes your country one of the priority countries of development cooperation of Germany. And in diesem Zusammenhang, Herr Präsident, haben Sie mir in dem Gespräch, das wir eben haben konnten, ihre innenpolitischen Reformvorhaben vorgestellt, zu denen ganz äh, prominent die Bekämpfung der Korruption gehört, aber auch der Ausbau professioneller Berufsausbildung, unter anderem für Jugendliche. Und wir haben darüber gesprochen, ob wir die bisherige Kooperation im Bereich der beruflichen Bildung, wir werden morgen gemeinsam ein Berufsbildungszentrum besuchen, ob wir darüber hinaus nicht auch im Bereich der sogenannten Fachhochschulausbildung, Applied Science, stärkere Zusammenarbeit finden können, ob deutsche Fachhochschulen nicht behilflich sein können bei der Entwicklung einer ähnlichen Ausbildungs- und akademischen Ausbildung, wie wir sie in Deutschland genießen. 
And in this contact, uh, in this context, uh, Mr. President, you said to me earlier in our bilateral exchange, uh, you used the opportunity to present to me your reform projects, and you uh, said that you were focusing very much on fighting corruption, and that you were also making uh, the further development of professional training and education for, above all, the young people of your country, one of your major priorities. In that context, we discussed ways and means in which we can expand the already existing cooperation in the area of professional and vocational training. Uh, we, both you pointed to that fact, are going to visit a technical vocational training center together tomorrow. And as I said, expand that cooperation also to include the area of what we in Germany call universities of applied sciences. Um, that is something where perhaps German universities of applied sciences can bring their expertise and their experiences to bear and help you develop perhaps along the German lines of such a system, a similar system that fits the needs of your country.